Hey everyone, it's Curious Joyce and Eddie the Valiant. And this is our second episode of Car Movie Review. Uh, we just saw Wogan, and what is your first initial reaction? Like before seeing the movie or seeing the commercials for the movie? After seeing the movie. Oh, first initial reaction? I'm sad now. Yeah, we can't tell you why. But well, we can't tell you why. There's many reasons why I'm sad about it. Yeah, there's a lot of layers. Many. Not too sure. I mean, like, the movie was phenomenal, but I'm so sad now. Yeah, so, as usual, for each episode, we discuss the movie based off of believability, as in the story and the acting, and the genre factor, seeing if it's good for its genre, the consistency within the story, and the overall voting. Like, how many stars does it get out of five? So first off, believability. Did you believe the story, acting? Uh, okay. See, it doesn't go along with the comic book, so it never does. <laughs> but within its own universe, with it, it, within its, I feel like the Logan kind of universe, like the the Wolverine universe, is kind of separate from the other X Men movie universes or whatever. However, they set it up. It's believable. Within those, I mean, how they have persecuted the mutants and previous movies have led up to how it plays out in this movie. Like previous movies can believably end up causing how it played out in this movie. Yeah, um, I believed it as well because I'm a big Marvel fan. Although I've not read the comics, and I always ask him questions about stuff that I don't understand. You no, know, he knows about it all, even though... Have you even read a comic book? Yeah. I, I actually go to the... the so the, he probably reads it in bookstores and never buys it. No, I, I go to the official page and just read their whole bio and, like, the whole page... I read the whole bio. I don't need to... I actually... Don't even need the pictures of the comic books. I just read straight up the bio, like each arc individually. Yeah, and then the second thing is genre factor. Was it good for its genre? No. Why? Because it was. You don't need to be an X Men fan to enjoy this movie. You don't need to know what's going on in the X Men world to enjoy this movie. Mm -hmm. This is more out of genre, out of the out of superhero genre, but most of Wolverine's movies like Wolverine have been out of genre. It just happens to be with guy with superpowers, but it's you know it's Wolverine. But yeah, it, within its genre, no, but it's still very good. Yeah, um, it didn't feel that much like a Marvel movie besides there being Wolverine, and as you've seen in the trailers, uh, the the little girl and. Dr. Xavier? Professor Xavier. I'm sorry, Professor. Professor Xavier. See, this is... Uh, maybe I'm kind of a fan. But, um... <laughs> I don't know. It, it didn't really feel like a Marvel movie, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it was, like... It was okay. I enjoyed it. If you're, if you're just watching it for the superpowers. I mean, there, there was a lot of... Um, environment. I was gonna say a lot of people that doesn't don't look like they're the average comic book lover at this thing. I mean, I'm the only one with a devil shirt in there. I mean, like, who? Uh, where are all the Wolverine fans? How could, well, no one went dressed as Wolverine. It's premiere date. Where's mm -hmm. all my Wolverines at? Mm -mm -mm. You don't have to dress up as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Well, all my Wolverines at. I mean, look at him talking about where's his Wolverines at. He's wearing a Deadpool I shirt. I read. I wore this for a reason, and I knew the very, I knew this, I'm not going to say nothing, but I, knew, I wore this for a reason. <laughs> and the third factor, consistency, was the story and was, like, the narrative flow of the movie consistent. Like, was it saying, alright, this is point A, B is like the yeah. O, B is like the O sh moment, and then C is like, the destination, mm -hmm. but you know, the destination always has its problem. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, it was still a little bit predictable as all movies are with me, but mm-hmm. I enjoyed the ride. I really did. I did. I did as well. I, I yeah. expected the ending, but I was... W- I expected the ending, but I was wondering when the ending was going to happen. Yeah. And the final one, what did we give it out of five stars? I gave it a four and a half. Minus point five for... They were consistent on one thing that I can't mention, because most Marvel movies always do this to set up the superhero... Well, to set up the person to become a superhero... Like, they already have the powers, but something they need something, a motivation to become a superhero. And in this movie, that typical motivation is more towards the end. Now, it doesn't make sense right now, but if you were to see the movie and to maybe, like, tweet me about it, I can understand. I can, like, further explain it. But, um, yeah, so for me, 4.5. What about you? Well, in this particular instance... They took liberties and created the character to become a superhero. When in reality, in the original books, this person is <laughs> not a superhero. I mean, it was some what a recurring character, not always a recurring character, but more like an anti-hero. I mean, but Wolverine himself is kind of an anti-hero too. What? Yeah. Mm. I have to give it a four point five. I feel like could have cast. The role of X-23, which is the main point of the whole movie. She's X-23. You could have cast her a bit better. You could have cast her a bit more on the point. I mean, in the comic book, she's a bit older. When you, we finally get introduced to her, she's about maybe oh, 15. I think you meant like appearance or something. No, no, I mean like... It, no, she's a bit older when, when, when we're introduced to her. Mm-hmm. I mean... She she's real young. You seen you guys seen the the commercial. She's real young. At first I have I was having trouble figuring out which one's X twenty three. I'm like oh wait oh, that that she is, because she's so young compared to like the comic books. I mean she she comes in like an adult in in my own, in the comic books. I think she's like I honestly don't remember the age. I think she's like fifteen. Anyone from fifteen to eighteen when she, you get introduced to her. But so I think them casting. X-23 as a little girl was like a director and like maybe marketing choice because I think it's more badass to see a little girl kick like all these adult men's butt by as themselves. As you've seen in the commercial. Yeah, as you've seen in the commercial rather than seeing a young adult or a woman because you've seen that before already with X-Men. So to see someone younger, like way younger, even younger than the students from the the professor's ex school for gifted mutants right it you don't see a girl that young so i think that was cool but would you say this movie was worth the drive oh my god yes this is such a good movie this is such a good movie i see why rotten tomatoes gave it a hundred and then they gave him a 97 oh whatever they gave (laughs) him i see why the only i I, but the only thing that the 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 uh, put me off putting in some uh, the casting noise. I think they even got her claws wrong. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to Google it. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And as usual, stay, stay joyful, joyful, my, my friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs>